What's up guys, uh, today I want to show you how to install the Genesis emulator for Linux, uh, specifically Ubuntu 13.04. Uh, this should work for any Linux distribution though. The reason why I'm showing you this is because this is the only 64-bit Genesis emulator that I found and it doesn't come with any type of user interface or GUI, anything to click on. Uh, DGen is a command line. So I'm going to show you how to download the emulator and then the front end and how to uh, set it up so let's get right to it first you want to download DGen from the software center so you're gonna go to your software center go up to the search bar and type in DGEN for DGen and it's gonna be the only search result as of right now I've already got it installed but you should have an install button right here go ahead and click it type in your password and let it install once it's done installing, you can close the Ubuntu Software Center. And now we want to get a front end for it. To get the front end, we're going to go to your web browser. We're going to type in the URL box, the address box up here. We're going to type in sourceforge.net forward slash projects tkdgn. And then enter to go to the website on this website you'll see a green button with the file name tkdgen and the version number go ahead and click that you'll get a countdown five seconds and it should ask you or prompt you to download it hit save file don't open with click save file and then hit okay okay now it's done downloading uh, go to the folder where you downloaded it which should have been by default downloads uh, let's see here it's called TKDGN there it is right there double click it find a folder where you want to extract it to uh, I'm going to extract it to my documents so just go up into the archive for, uh, manager, drag it and to your file browser, and it'll automatically extract that fast. All right, close your archive manager, go back to your file browser, and make sure everything's in there. Should look similar to this right here. Now what you're gonna wanna do is open up your ter terminal uh, to decompile it or to install it. And to do that, you hit Control Alt T to automatically bring up your terminal. And since I've already got this installed on my system, I'm just going to show you real quick what you have to type in. Uh, you're going to type in dot forward slash. No, excuse me. First, you got to go to the folder where it's at. I got mine in my document, so I'm going to change directory. Documents. And then you're going to type in dot forward slash configure enter type in make enter then type in sudo space make space install enter at that point it's going to prompt you for a password and you can go ahead and enter your password and let it finish doing this thing you'll see it scroll by and do some stuff uh, once that's done it's installed to test to see if it's installed go to your terminal and type in TKD G E N enter and it should pop up just like that uh, and it's that simple there's no configuring needed unless you have a game controller uh, just go to DGen menu right here go down to joysticks and go down to activate it uh, to open up a ROM, go to ROMs, go to search ROM, find where you uh, download and keep your ROMs. I keep mine under ROMs and under Sega Genesis. And then double click. Let's see. Let me open one up for you. Let's try this one. All right, hit open. 
and it's gonna say ROM added. Hit OK. Then all you have to do is double click it. It's gonna ask you if you wanna open the ROM. Hit yes. And, and you'll see the ROM. You'll see the ROM um, load up. Or you should see the ROM load up. And that's it. Okay, close it. Close DGen. And I'm going to show you, instead of typing it in the terminal to uh, open up DGen every time, I'm going to show you how to add it to your desktop and your launcher bar. So let's do that real quick. I'm going to close my file browser at this point. And what you want to do now is open up a text editor. To do that in Unity or Ubuntu, just type in text, and you should get a text editor here. And then you're gonna copy all of this that I provide for you. Uh, maybe I think I'll put it in the description or a link to it in the description. You're gonna copy it from here desktop entry down to the last part where it says application what a what is that a colon uh, semicolon I mean I'm gonna copy it and paste it inside your empty document um, real quick you're gonna want to leave the version the same name the program name is the whatever you want to call it and I mean you can we can call this Genesis and then you can put a comment here anything you want this is a genesis emulator all right and then the executable or the exec file will be tkdgn t and then the icon will be we're gonna have to find the icon so go back to your web browser go to google and type in Genesis icon PNG go to images and find you one that looks good I'm gonna try this controller here uh, gonna want to go to view original image and make sure it's a PNG file so go up to your uh, URL bar and make sure it ends in dot PNG if, if it does you're good to go Go down to the image, right click, save image as, and then download it. I'm going to take the space out because when you're using the command line, it doesn't like spaces. And then I'm also going to lowercase this stuff. Matter of fact, take all this off and make sure everything is lowercase. It's just easier that way. So genesis.png, then I'm going to save it. alright I'm gonna close this go to where I saved it at and let's see where did I save it at I saved it under downloads and there it is okay just to be sure it's there now what we need to do is move it to the system so that the uh, computer can find the icon on your desktop for you. So what we're going to do is go to back to our terminal and go to the directory where we where we um, downloaded it at. So what I want to do is go to change directory forward slash home your username and then I'd put mine in downloads and remember in the terminal that uh, it is case sensitive downloads is capital D by default okay let me LS make sure it's in there and it was called genesis.png so I'm gonna scroll through here and see if it's in there there it is genesis.png okay so we're gonna copy it to the, the to the appropriate folder so it's going to be sudo no. cp uh, the name of your icon well mine is genesis.png 
space, then forward slash user share picks map. Let me make sure they're giving you the right. Okay, yeah. User share picks maps, plural, and then forward slash enter. It's going to ask you for a password. Type it in. Now let's go to our browser and make sure it's in there. Go down to computer, user, share. Scroll down to Pix Maps. And there it is, Genesis.png. So it's in there. We're good to go. So we're going to go back to our text editor. Let's see, where my text editor? There it is. Uh, and we're going to get rid of all this next to icon equals and just type in the name of our icon Genesis dot PNG we're gonna leave terminal as false type equals application and I'm not really sure about the categories what it's supposed to do is if you have a traditional menu it's supposed to put it in the appropriate uh, menu part but I don't know the names of how how it actually works so what you can do until until I, I can figure that out I guess is I'm just gonna change mine the games and that's it so we're gonna go file save as Go to your desktop, then type in whatever you want to call it. Genesis emulator.desktop. Make sure you put .desktop. That's important after your file name. Save it. Now, if I can find my desktop again, it's right there. The new the new launcher if uh, now if you go back to your text editor and you see that it's all red like this that means there's a syntax error and I'm pretty sure I know where it's at if you look at if you click over here to the right and notice that there's a sp maybe a space out there some of these uh, I just get rid of these spaces And that just comes from copying and pasting it, but most importantly is the very top. That's after desktop entry, close bracket, get rid of that space. And you'll notice everything that will turn to different colors now. This means that now you have the correct syntax and it should be uh, able to work now. Click save. And you'll notice your, 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 your launcher icon disappears. Mine did at least. That's okay. Just close this text editor. Right click on your new icon. Go to properties. In the new pop up box, go to permissions. Go down to where it says execute and click that box. Allow executing file as a program. Close. And your icon will come back. And now let's test it. And there it goes. Now, if you want to add it to your launcher bar, all you got to do is simply drag it and put it in there and there it is Genesis uh, and if you do that it should also show up in here it may take a couple minutes while the system actually caches the information but uh, eventually it should show up in there if not leave a comment in the comment section and I'll try to help you out Alright, thanks for watching.